how this yeah. is right here. This Art director and show curator Matthew Shiana Mayo consults with all of his artists about their pumpkin designs. Morgan McGill here just finished The Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz and is planning her next piece. They'll be among the 150 pumpkin designs you'll see along the trail at Iroquois Park this year. This is the, uh, the show on a wall. This is a description of our show. Uh, which is a reference for our artists to be able to get their creative juices flowing. Each design falls under a theme. Represented this year, the Four Seasons, the Day of the Dead, a tribute to Stan Lee, and the Zodiac, which is what artist Michelle Stevens is working on. This pumpkin is more vertical. It's got like this smooth face to it, and it really, it fit for this character, as opposed to like, say you were doing like a scene you'd probably find like a longer pumpkin. He's using a Sharpie, a Q-tip, and isopropyl alcohol to create the Capricorn Goatfish. He is one of the 20 full-time artists who took a leave from his day job to work here for the next month. It's a round-the-clock job. These, some of these artists are showing up, you know, 8 o'clock for me to get here to, uh, to, to start drawing on pumpkins. Each pumpkin will be replaced about three to five times during the month-long show due to natural rotting and bugs. Artist Charlotte Cunningham, who's been doing this since the beginning, says she loves being on standby, ready to create and recreate. The artwork is different. It, it can look, it has shape and volume to it, whereas a flat surface, it doesn't. This year, the artwork and the renderings are second to none, and they are looking magnificent. And if you think these pumpkins are cool, you are in luck. For the first time ever this year, the team is hosting a winter event as well, and we're getting our first sneak peek of that with these penguins. I'm told they'll be out at the park riding a Ferris wheel. More details to come on that in the future, I'm sure. For now, from Iroquois Park, I'm Julie Dolan, WLKY News.